Average photo, just add water. What on earth we're doing today? <laughs> we are playing with water. So adding water to your photography could be a good thing, right? It could. Um, the reason why it is fun is because we're playing with these toys today. And yeah, Olympus has some pretty good cameras that are capable of cooperating with water. So we're gonna be dunking these deep in here. Oh, it feels so wrong to put a camera in water. <laughs> Don't worry. So because Olympus can do this with these tough cameras, we're gonna see what how fancy and interesting we can get with those. Yeah. And do some underwater photography without going into the sea. Yeah. And also a good thing, we have a model here, so we don't have to dunk ourselves into the water. Yes, you don't have to watch our faces for another 15 minutes. Yes. Like Hooray! the 10th time in a row. <laughs> Yay! Since the water in Finland isn't warm enough yet, we're gonna fill this 300 liters of a bucket full of water. But you can also try using like a kid's swimming pool or, or a bathtub. Yeah. First challenge we're trying to tackle here is that our bucket is green. Uh, green isn't the most pleasant color for skin tones. Nope. So we're just kind of trying to either use black molten or black fabric and normal aluminum foil yeah. as a reflector to kind of get some light back out of there. Yeah. So now we're shooting the first photos and judging by the back of the screen, the results are already looking really good. The model is doing a great job keeping her eyes open in the tank, which actually isn't that easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As we are taking this photo in the courtyard of the office, the background isn't so beautiful. So using this black molten, we can cut off the background and make it really dark. What we're playing around here with is really just fine tuning the lights and trying to find that glimmer onto the water that really sets it off. Mm. And once you find that right placement of the camera and her, so you get this nice reflection, that's where the magic happens. All right, we'll let you go. Thank, Thank you. you. It Till... was so much fun. Okay, good. Glad to hear that. <laughs> Let's see the photos. Woo! I think it's pretty amazing that you can use the camera actually like it is under the water. You yeah. don't need any big plastic bags or a like huge... uh, diving cases and all yeah. that. Yeah. But hey, I want to see my picture first. Yeah. The model was inside the tank. Yeah. She was peeking around and simple as that, making it black, like I said, it looks like she is swimming in moonlight or midnight. For, you know, I really like this photo. It's, it reminds me of like a jewelry commercial because mm -hmm. the earrings, they really pop. You know, it's that kind of like, ooh, I will go in the midnight, uh, swim in Paris outside. Yeah, and exactly. And, and if you Photoshop the edge of the bucket away, this would look like it's in actual lake or... Yeah. So, I, I mean, e even now it's still interesting. You don't really know what's going on, but you know enough. Yeah. Uh, how then, about these? Yeah. Then I asked the model to look at, straight at the camera and we tried to aim the light so it's hitting her eyes and popping out the blue color of her eyes. And yeah. I think it's turning out pretty nice. It turns out well. And I actually, the, the red uh, from her swim trunk, it's actually doing really like good, good for the image because yeah. it's just adding that another layer. We have kind of like this triple layer of color. Mm -hmm. that it's almost like a flag, you know. Mm. Fairly good. Yeah. Let's see that your one. Yeah. So this was an easy one to do. Uh, the thing that really helped and made the image was that we were able to get that black background. Yeah. This is the product. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty good. Now, what, what I'm already doing here is I'm flipping the pictures mm. just to leave you guys guessing on what's going on. So if yeah. you didn't know that this was under underwater, like it would take you a while, a while to figure out. Yeah. I, I think the next photo is the one that really... Yeah, this is my favorite. Yeah. This actually looks like, look like she's reaching out to space or yeah. looking Entering through a portal. Entering hyperspace, yeah. another dimension. This is another dimension, <laughs> Star Trek stuff. Yeah, I really like that. And it's uh, the color, you know, we were just able to get, like you see all the bounce that we have, there's enough light to really get that, those skin tones out there yeah. and get that color contrast going on. And it's because of the tinfoil we're using. Yeah, the tinfoil that we're using there. Mm. So on all notes, I'm actually really, really, really happy with that. Mm. I honestly didn't think we'd pull this off in our backyard. Yeah. So on that, like I'll give us a good five finger high five. And what really made this 
photo shoot possible was the size of the Olympus camera and the way you could just pop it underwater and shoot it away. And while we were shooting in RAW... Yeah, you, you're so still getting RAW images, you know, actually really good images out of that. Yeah. But we could, you know, edit enough to make everything work uh, yeah. and look amazing in post. Hmm. So considering for a small mini format camera, these are some really darn impressive images. Yeah. So, I strongly suggest that you also try this at your home with a friend and show us your results. Yeah, uh, water is a great element to play with. It's not just really cool to get amazing photos, but it's a lot of fun. So, mm -hmm. the main key here is just enjoy yourself and get creative and try things out. Yeah. See you guys. See you later.